Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Team Modicon M221. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video we're going to talk about the discrete motions functions that we have in the software machine expert basic. So let's go to the presentation. So before starting with all the different kind of function blocks that we have for PTO, it's important to know these uh, the state diagrams that we have for the uh, AMT21. So basically this is the motion state diagram that we have in the software. So depend on the function block that we are using, we are in different states, as you can see over here. So what we're going to focus in this part is this one, the discrete motion. And you can see over here that in the discrete motion, we have these three function blocks, move absolute, move relative, and the MC hold. So let's continue with the full presentation. If you are interested, let me just do and if you want to know the status of this to show, for example, in a HMI or something, you can use this function block, the MC read status underscore PTO and then the instance related to one axis. So this one will be good if you want to share in the HMI, which is the output status of the um, of the axis. So if we continue with this, once you have made the configuration of the PTO and selected the right PLC. You can go to the programming and then select from the function block list the PTO functions and then you need to select the um, the motion function blocks. We will require the MC power in order to enable all the functions that we have and then you can use the move relative or move absolute and also the MC hold over here. Once you uh, click and put the function block in your code, okay, there is a few things that you need to configure. You can pre-configure all these values. You can see over here, when you move the mouse, you should be able to have access to the to this window to select, uh, to pre-configure the, the parameters. And then you will need to select an axis in order to link the movement to a specific axis that you have. If you want to, for example, sometimes you will you want to uh, make modifications to those pre-configured values. If you want to do that and you have, for example, an HMI in order then to write a new value or configure the movement that you have, we need to link to those parameters some variables. And depending on the parameter that we have, we, we need to link to a specific um, variable type you can see over here so for example the, the distance okay is a double word so we need to use a percentage md okay and here in the distance in order to access to the distance or the position depending on the of the movement uh, we need to select this the name of the instance that we have dot the name of That we have over here so it's simple we just need to know the name of the instance dot and one of these parameters that we have and depending on the parameter we have different variables to access if we continue with this part okay just see here there is something important here that you need to know okay which is this the buffer mode the buffer mode we depend on the previous movement that you have how it's going to affect the new one that we have in so for example if you are using mc abort team okay the value is zero for this one okay mw zero mw then as soon as you execute this movement it's going to abort the previous one okay so here you need to be careful in the motion that you want for the axis okay because if you don't pay attention to the buffer mode probably the the real movement that you're going to have is not the same as you have expected and also we have the jerk ratio i believe i explained this a little bit more which is um related to the acceleration acceleration how you want the velocity reach each point that you have okay so 
in order to understand a little bit more which is the difference between the more relative and more absolute i have created this diagram so imagine that you are located in this point which is the zero okay and let's divide this uh, circle in eight equal parts so if i execute this uh, mc move relative and mc move absolute okay and define okay for the move relative the distance now it should be 2x and x we can specify this movement okay this so if i move 2x okay it should be 90 degrees more or less so in bottle 10 it will reach the same position okay but if i execute again this the same movement okay if i specify more relative to x it will turn another 90 degrees okay 90 degrees but if i execute again this move absolute okay it will remain in the same position because the more relative okay is everything about the actual position the instance that i need to move okay as you can see over here it just moved 90 degrees okay and here again if i execute 2x again it should move 90 degrees now if i for the move absolute is everything regarding the zero position that you have so this one will be x this one should be 2x for x 6x and 7x okay so everything regarding the position so imagine now if i specify mode absolute for x you just go to here because it's the for x as you can see okay if i move again over here from this position and execute the move relative it just moved the 180 degrees okay so the main difference between these two movements is that the move relative is relative to the actual position that the axis has so it moves the move absolute is related to the home position that you have so it will move depend on the zero or the home position that you have that's why if you want to have a move absolute movement it's important that the axis is homed otherwise you're probably going to receive an error when you execute the home when you execute the movement so let's continue with this so now what i'm going to do is to show you the behaviors of these two so uh, let me just first show you how you can add the stuff so the first thing that you need to know is that you need to select the plc that has the pto functionalities in this case this one is r okay from relay output it doesn't have that so i'm going to just drag and drop the word with transistor okay and here in the post generator you just need to configure the pto define this okay i already explained this part in another video so i'm now going to move forward on this and here in the programming we just need to go to the functions pto pto motions okay and you can find over here the more relative and more absolute just put it click select and if you move the mouse you should be able to see this window that allows you to pre-configure the device the the function block and then on the function block you can link it to the axis and then apply to know more about the difference or all the insights you can have for the movement we just double click you should be able to see on the bottom here all the instance available that we have for the mode relative okay you can configure over here if you want to know more about this instance that you can have you just need to go to tools pto objects motion more relative all of them more absolute all of them and hold so this is how you can add all the values now i have already made uh, an example project so it's not finished yet but we're on the way so control let me just show you here's the axis so da, 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 da. 
So now it's power. Okay, I have used the MC power. The idea of the MC power is this one. So I'm going to remove this. So the idea is for you to enable the function block. Okay. You can see that we have this drive enable output. The idea is for this output to go to the input of the servo drive that you have or the device and then receive the feedback that the device is ready. Okay, so that will confirm that you are ready to make an access. In my case, I'm going to execute this function block to define that this, this position is the zero. Okay going to power this up okay so i'm going to specify this one is the home position okay good and if i go to the status should be able to see the actual position is zero i have already made some calculations in order to define 360 degrees so let's go to the to the movements okay the movements that you need to define on the function block, okay, for the move relative and move absolute, is all regarding the pulses that you want to send. So you can make some kind of calculation or formula based on the drive that you have in order to uh, define if you want distance in millimeters, centimeters, or degrees. In my case, I have already defined something to um, degrees, okay. So if I want to configure the position, okay, the position here, da, 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 absolute position degree, okay, I'm going to make some modifications here. Uh, the position, this one. So if we follow this example, okay, I'm going to specify to move 90 degrees in both of them for the move absolute and the move relative. So. I'm going to start with the move, move absolute. So position here should be 90 degrees. My bad. 90 degrees. There we go. So this will be the amount of pulses that I need to send. So if we go here to the move absolute, here you can see this and there is some velocity already predefined. So I'm going to execute this movement. So you should go from here to here. And I didn't done something here. Mm -hmm. just hold on a minute okay so i know what i have done done so it's already predefined uh, the actual position like this so if we go to set position once again that happened when you don't define the actual position true zero so if we go back to the status should be able to see zero now. Okay, so the auto position is zero from the device. So if we execute again, the move absolute, okay, with the 90, 90 degree, I already specified 90 degrees. Let me just have a check. Distance, 90 degrees, okay. Move absolute and execute the movement, you should move now from here, the zero position, to here. So, execute. There we go. So, if I execute this move absolute again, it shouldn't move. Okay. And there we go. It shouldn't move. So, if I select the position zero, or let me just check here, move position okay here and if I select for example uh, 180 it should move from here to here because this one is the zero degrees 
90 degrees and 180 in this case so if i go again to move absolute and i trigger this there if i select the position zero position here zero it should move from here to this way to here to the zero in the reverse position uh, the reverse movement so if I execute again there we go okay so now let's try to compare this with the move relative so everything will be related to the actual position so here you can see this distance and i'm going to specify in this variable over here it should be degrees i'm going to specify 90. so every time i execute the move relative it will increment 90 degrees so it should be from here and then when i execute again here execute again here and then execute again this so if we go back here to move relative here I'm going to run okay run it again you can see when I execute it just the BC is active and when it's done it just the done is active so execute again execute again and if you go for uh da, 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 da. let me see something <laughs> And if you want to go reverse, if final run, what we need to define in the distance, we just need to subtract this. So distance, let's see if final run, minus 90 degrees. Let's see. Let's go here. <laughs> Execute again. Let's see what happened. There we go. Okay. Just go back. Because everything is related to the actual position. So if you define to, if you want to go forward, the position impulses will be positive. If you want to go back, uh, reverse, the the pulses should be negative. Okay, so that is the idea. Uh, it's not like the pulses are negative. It's like we have defined, in this case, pulse and direction. So the POC already defined its ended pulses and it also sent in the direction uh, output the right value so it can't the other device can identify this okay so the final wrong i believe this is it and i don't so this is it for the discrete motion that we have for a move relative uh, mode absolute i believe i have already explained the different behavior that we have are important to be to make the home otherwise you're gonna have different behavior and probably an error when you execute the absolute movement so this is it for these function blocks thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one